What is up everyone, it's L3 here and I have another Assassin's Creed Brotherhood match for you today. And this match, well, this match may be the last match I post before my barrage of Assassin's Creed Revelations beta videos, so keep that in mind. And also this match is just crazy, there's so many crazy events that happen in here, and overall just trying to have fun with it. Because there wasn't a lot of games that I could find today, especially that more younger kids are in school. It's especially harder to find games, it seems like. So, when I do find games, it seems like people just tend to run on the roofs a lot, things like that. So, for once, I thought, hey, you can't beat them, join them. And the result's pretty hilarious, to, to be honest with you. Because, like I said before, there's a couple events in this video that are just pretty crazy and pretty weird I'm not really sure what happened maybe just little glitches but for so many to happen in one game to me is pretty crazy so I actually do a lot better than expected I actually do above average in this game spoiler alert by the way and I'm not really sure why I end up getting greater variety later in the game and I start going for extreme variety and I start getting really close to it but unfortunately it's not enough for me to get extreme variety I don't don't really know how many extreme varieties I have gotten in this game maybe I can't say more than four or five. I don't know. I only know one that I actually recorded, and that was on Gamer's Beverage channel. That's I think that's the only one that I recorded. Because to be honest, I really didn't understand the whole variety thing. Like I mentioned before, that it wasn't only until recently that I paid attention to what the bonuses were. Really, for me, the game was just all about finding someone, killing them, and that's that. Of course, not running. You'd be more stealthy about it, but I didn't really understand the bonus thing or didn't take time to pay attention to it. And I wish I did because I feel like my whole stats card type thing would be a little bit more improved. And don't get me wrong, it's not like anyone can see my personal stats in this game, but for me, I'm a stats junkie. I just, I, I love seeing how I can improve on something. Even, even if it's something like, I, I think there's something in your stats card here that uh, it's like your percentage of escapes every time you run from people or something like that and it just for me I saw that a long time ago and it was like 50% that they would catch me and I thought you know I have to raise that if someone's gonna chase me I gotta do everything in my power to get out of there not just because I don't want them to get the points but just because I want my stat card to look better just just for me personally but oh uh, well, it's just kind of a little nitpick thing like I said before I am a stats junkie yeah, there's a lot of pretty cool uh, things in the, the little stat card if you pay attention to it. And I'm pretty sure that in Assassin's Creed Revelations, your stat card's kind of visible. So for me, that even ups the ante, especially because I, I don't want to sound like I'm full myself or I'm really famous or anything. But, um, you know, a lot of people know me when I get into lobby. It's a cool feeling and everything. And then they're going to look at my stats. And it's just going to be a total rivalry, bet rivalry between my friends and just random people. So uh, it just in general. So, again, I'm really excited for that. And Assassin's Creed Revelations, oh gosh, it's almost here, just the beta, and then the game will be here shortly after, and then Bye Bye Brotherhood, it's going to be kind of sad, I don't know, I might have to make some farewell video or something. Alright, check this out real quick guys, just pay attention here, watch my view totally turn warped twice, I don't really know what was up with that, I kind of slow it down here for you, but it made me really sick, and then by the time this started coming upright, I was like, whoa, where am I, I just, my whole depth perception and everything was twisted a little bit there for a second it kind of made me dizzy I think that was the game's way of saying that you need to slow down L3 you need to get off the roofs a little bit <laughs> because like I said before I wanted to get on the roofs a lot and have some fun you know not beat them join them but one of my buddies named Hectris Creed I've actually met on Assassin's Creed not too long ago is in this match with me and we never really invite each other to a game or anything we haven't yet but and this one in particular um he was just kind of in the game when I joined the lobby, so... Oh, yeah, I'm just going to be quiet for a second so you can check this out. Unfortunately for Hectris there, he got the poison on me, but I had two other pursuers who wanted me more than him, so sorry, buddy, just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. But i got to be honest with you, when I am poisoned and someone else steals the kill, it's the ultimate satisfaction to me. Simply because the person who poisons you gets to sit there and watch you suffer as they rack in a buttload of points. And they're all happy about it. So to me, I picture this person just sitting behind their TV, have the biggest smile. There's my greatest variety, by the way. And just, you know, totally pumped to watch me suffer on this poison. Or for someone to take that away from them is just awesome to me. So I always love that satisfaction. And here we're starring the Marquise's forehead a little bit. And... 
my Blastoise class here, my trusty Blastoise class, that was a fail on my part. I did have my smoke bomb. I could have threw that. But I was switching my classes around and I actually put smoke bomb on RB and mute on LB, which is usually the complete opposite for me. So it's a little bit weird to, to do something like that, especially if you're used to pressing RB for smoke bomb. And I'll put RB on smoke bomb for every class that I did use a smoke bomb on. Because, <laughs> smoke bomb on, that was a really really hard to say say that five times fast but oh drop kill you want yeah you want to drop kill there you go <laughs> and unfortunately he didn't want to drop kill sorry Hectress that's how it goes but yeah uh, bomb usually RB for me that just it's preference you know what I mean that's the whole thing and when oh well I, I kinda sped up the audio there I didn't speed it up I kinda made it loud and I was talking over it but you can hopefully hear the whispers a little bit kinda understand them because a lot of people will ask about the whispers still and a lot of people still don't understand it and really it's just kind of a matter of getting used to it because when I first started the game people mentioned it and I never heard them until I started slowing down and really paying attention to them but you'll know what I'm talking about if the enemies around you and if you really need to test it get a buddy to come with you at a, a manhunt or a wanted match or whatever it's called and let them stand right there beside you so you can hear the whispers that's the best way to do it especially for people who still aren't used to the whispers and I do want my discreet here because I want to try to get all the bonuses I could for extreme variety. I think it's 15 for extreme variety. And I had to be close. I mean, I had to be really, really close. Dinosaur walk there. <laughs> but, you know, unfortunately, I, I didn't get it. So Assassin's Creed Revelations Beta is coming out soon. And I'm getting it. Well, everyone's getting it on the PlayStation if you're playing it. You can't really play it on the Xbox. Sorry, Xbox gamers, but that's just how it goes. And the controls are going to be really weird because I've never played an Assassin's Creed game on the PS3. And I really haven't played a lot of games on the PS3 in general, but especially Assassin's Creed. And for me to hop into this game, the controls are supposed to be somewhat the same in Brotherhood. It's going to be really weird. It's going to take some getting used to. But bear with me because like I said before, I'm going to send out a barrage of revelations videos because I really want to get some good footage I want something that people can remember but again it's gonna be quality I'm not I'm not gonna really throw it out there without audio or anything I don't really like doing that I'm not saying it's wrong if anyone does do that but for me in particular I like doing it with audio and I might do some pretty cool things with a couple of guests I got a couple of guests that you may know I'm sure you know though in the Assassin's Creed community lined up and I just got a, a you know a couple original ideas going on so I'm really excited because with the Revelations beta, it opens up a whole new... Oh, no, he, uh, priest, come on. I guess the priest just... That guy, the whole game, he was on me. I don't know what it was, but kudos to him for that kill. I, I think that was the first time I ever got killed by getting dragged off a rooftop. I <laughs> can't recall another time I have, but it's possible. But, yeah, with the Assassin's Creed Revelations beta, it comes a whole new breed of players. People can get their first impressions on it. And, you know, it just it's a really exciting thing in general. It's almost like a fresh start to... To things even though it is just the beta it's just a you know a fresh start and people are going to be wanting to see what it's like and you know maybe with the videos there's going to be a lot of different people posting videos with the videos coming up hopefully people can get the idea if they're going to be interested in the game or not but I think the single player is going to sell really well to begin with in the first place but as far as multiplayer goes maybe this can be a thing where uh, it's not one of those things where people kind of pick it up and just leave it if you know what I mean and you saw right there a second ago, I used my mute and then my smoke bomb. Smoke bomb should have got him, by the way, but it happens. But again, it's the whole mixing up the LB and RB thing. I messed it up. I used my mute, and then immediately I thought, oh, shit, I better throw my smoke bomb. By the time I did that, it was just too late. The priest was on me again. All right, so here is another WTF moment, probably the third in the match. And you can see right here he escapes me, but somehow he flies in midair. I grab him in midair, and then I jump off the air I don't understand we'll slow it down here so there I miss him right you can see him flying through the air like a little rocket ship and I stab the air for a, a good good kill bonus there so we're gonna hop right off the air here here we go Whee! Push. yeah don't really know what was up with that but hey if I can stab the air and get 450 points I'll I'll take it for sure <laughs> So the match is winding down here, and I did exceptionally good. I did, again, a lot better than... Fail! Come on! Dang, lock-on system. Why Why did the lock-on system lock me onto a guy that was way below me, not even close to my line of sight? I'm not really sure 
what that was about. But I think if I would have got that guy, I would have rounded up to a 7K game here because I, I think I'm at like 6, yeah, 6,000 here. And I, I think I could have rounded up to a 7K game with all my bonuses and things like that. But that's just how it happens sometimes. You gotta you gotta roll with it. Lock on system. You get me every time. You're in my favor sometimes, though. Not a lot of people know this, that if your pursuer sprints for a second or runs or something like that, if you just put your uh, lock-on thing in the general area, it automatically locks onto them, so you don't have to do a lot of work or anything like that. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. The lock-on system does work in your favor from time to time, but, again, people look at the bad more than the good, and, you know, when it screws you over, it really makes people mad, but it happens sometimes. So, there we go guys, that was the end of the match, I finished first place, I did really good, and I was totally pumped about winning that. So thanks for watching, uh, be sure to leave a like, as it helps me out a lot, and that's all I really ask for, comment.